Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can select to paste a link between two cells so that when the value in the copied cell is changed, the value displayed in the linked cell reflects the change. This is very handy when using the result of a formula as the basis for other formulas in linked workbooks or worksheets. For example, if you had a worksheet that totaled sales per month on one worksheet, and another worksheet in the same workbook that totaled the monthly sales per quarter, you could copy and link the totals from the first worksheet into the second worksheet, and that way any changes made to the data in the first worksheet would be automatically reflected in the second sheet. So to copy a link between cells, first copy the cell that you want to link into another worksheet or workbook. Then select the destination cell to link. Then click the Paste Buttons drop-down menu in the clipboard group on the Home tab of the ribbon to display the drop-down menu of choices. You can select the Paste Link command to paste the link back to the original cell that you copied. If you're using the Paste Special dialog box, you can also click the Paste Link button that appears in the lower left corner of the dialog box to paste a link to the original cell that you copied. If you examine the contents of the linked cell, you'll see that it's actually a formula. The formula simply states that the cell's value is to be equal to the value displayed in the cell address shown. The cell address is the address of the cell that was copied. If you use this feature to paste links between data in separate workbooks, you should exercise care not to rename or move those workbooks. Doing so could break links in the formula references created by the Paste Link button, forcing you to delete the links and then recreate them again, or edit the formula references within each linked cell. So as long as you do not move or rename the workbooks, you should be able to change the values in the cell which was copied to one workbook and save your changes. Then the next time that you open the workbook that contains the linked data, you will see a small dialog box appear telling you that the workbook contains links to data in other workbooks which has changed. It then asks you if you want to update the values in the linked cells to reflect the changes. You would just click the update button to update the data in the linked worksheet and be sure to save the changes made in this workbook as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.